Hi, I'm Derek Rodway. I'm out playing boats with a guy called Tristan Bauer. He's not that famous, but he's got an Instagram following that's pretty solid. <laughs> oh, you are right, Tristan? Sorry, I'm just on. Man, I'm trying to do a video yep, here. Yep. Keep going. Anyway, what we're talking about is the Oceanworks Squadron 4.8 CC. Now, this is the first one to come through and hit the water. It's got some really unique features. It may not be for everyone, but it's right perfect for me. I think Tristan was having fun before as well. So let's dive straight into this cool boat and see what it's got to offer. Before we talk about the cool thing going on here, we're going to go up the front and we're going to have a talk about this casting deck area up here. Now Tristan's a fan of trying to get as far off the end of the boat as he possibly can. Now one of the things we've done to try and make it a bit more comfortable, we've actually got foam padding that's available as an option if you go for the anchor well lid. That hasn't quite arrived so it's not on the video, but if we've hopefully it arrives before we edit the video and we'll... It, it is, we'll this is one in. of my favourite features. It's pretty good isn't it? Yeah, this is the business end, but this is the real business end. Like this, the elite people stand there. This is Yeah, this is where the socially elite people such as myself stand. Yeah. And in a situation now where we're in a tight mangrove for targeting those fish deep in, you know, with accuracy, this is perfect. Okay, good. Yep. Glad we could help you out with that one. Yep. One of the other changes you'll see coming through with this though is the bollard. It's an option to have this. Normally the bollard would be here, but you can actually get it so the bollard's removed and there's a cleat that sits in the anchor well, which makes that area completely clean. So look out for that when you're looking for a new squadron. Now this casting deck is awesome. If you've seen the other videos of the squadrons, there's tons of storage. You've got huge. a huge storage area up here. Plumbed live keeper tank is standard. The plumbing is standard. And then you've got your two access points to the back corners either side as well. All right, if we come back into the main cockpit area here, this boat's available in a stand-up centre console and it's available in the sit-down. Now this is the sit-down centre console. It makes it a little bit more like a go-kart, a little bit more race. What do you reckon, Tristan, after you're having a few runs with it? It, it's, it feels like a, a high-performance sports car. Yeah. With the um, seat suspension too. You know, if you like to fish solo and you like to have a boat that's quite aggressive in the way it handles, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So the boat comes standard with a pedestal, but you can option it up with this as, way this is set up with a little box and it's got the Roswell ride seat suspension there. So it does just absorbs all the vibrations out of the boat, gives you a super cloud-like feel when you're underway. So let's have a close look at this console. If we have a look at the console set up here, this is a Lowrance HDS 12 Pro, and you can see it doesn't fill the dash at all. You've got plenty of room over here. To be honest with you, you might squeeze a nine, but I think it's gonna be a seven that you're gonna to add to this. There's certainly room for the, the head unit, a VHF, whatever else you think you need to add into your dash. So one of the other things you consider is twin nines would work absolutely sweet if you like to have heaps of screen available to you across the front of the driving position. So. Also on here, we've got the, the little switch panel. Um, once again, there's plenty of room to add to that. There's also room there for a VHF if you can do a bit of offshore work as well. So really cool console setup, storage shelf underneath. Um, there's not gonna be many people gonna complain about that as a nice workstation for driving this boat. Let's have a look at the back of the boat here. Now, this is standard with an enclosed transom. So this is basically fully welded off and there's a walkway on this side. And that gives you more room here between the seat and the island well here. If you go to the casting deck, which this boat's been upgraded to, it does give you the advantage of extra storage. The live bait tank goes from here over to here. And obviously when you've got like these guys from Missing at Sea, you're gonna be using the cast decks all the time. So this is a good option for those guys. These rod holders work well for storing rods, but they are an option. They're not a standard feature. And let's have a quick look, talk about these engines. This is running with a 90. The 90 really is on that tipping point between running hydraulic steering or running the mechanical non-feedback steering, which this boat's got. To be honest with you, I think you'd want to upgrade to the hydro hydraulic steering if you can afford it, because the hydraulic steering does give you a, a lot more comfort and handling uh, when you're driving the boat. There's also the difference between the 75 horsepower and the 90. 75 is ample for the boat. You're going to get the same acceleration and mid-range. The 90 is just going to give you that extra top-end speed. So if you're comfortable enjoying just cruising around, you don't need to get there in a hurry, save yourself some money and run a 75. You can run the mechanical steering then as well, and you'll have a really neat little package. One of the things that comes with this boat is the side rails, and you'll see this on the squadron and the side consoles as well. It's a great little feature, especially in the center console. So um, don't worry, they're standard. They're gonna be on your boat when you place your order. If we look at the decks of the boat here, we've got rails, obviously a standard feature. Now, aluminium rod holders. Most brands at this level are only putting in plastic, maybe two. They're gonna charge you, we're standard. 
You'll also notice at the front of the boat, the spray tines, they're standard. We want you to have a nice dry ride and any of that pesky water that flicks up on a windy day, we want to catch it and send it straight back into the water surface. Fully welded side decks, um, I mean, yeah, there's a whole lot of cool features that go together to make this boat one of the best value for money, pressed aluminium, or well, we call it cold form boats on the market. One more little thing we'll just touch on, and that's to do with the way these boats are designed. These boats are designed to cruise around in places like this, in bays and rivers, near close offshore. They're a fantastic value for money package, which is gonna take you to places you wouldn't expect to go. But if you're planning on doing a lot of big, deep water offshore, consistently offshore, you really should look at our high tensile models. They're purpose built for that kind of water environment. And I'm sure we'll be able to work out a package that would suit you because we've got center consoles, side consoles, a whole lot of models available in high tensile. So if we wrap this up, Tristan, have you caught a fish yet? Nah. No. It's annoying, eh? Maybe we should go around the corner. Is that I'll tell you what, though. You don't catch one? I do want to chime in and just share one thing with the people that are watching. Feel free, go for We've it. We've spent a lot of time in a lot of different boats. Um, most of the time, alumi uh, sorry, fiberglass boats. And one thing I can say is jumping into these models um, has been the first pleasurable experience into aluminium, um, especially in the high tensile for the offshore stuff. And then for what a lot of I do lately, this kind of fishing in tight creeks, these things are perfect, the cold form stuff. So whether you're an offshore junkie or you like doing this stuff, either way, the squadrons or the high tensile are getting it done. And I think Derek and the team has done a fantastic job. The only goal now is to somehow catch a fish, mate. Okay, well, I reckon you wrapped that up pretty tightly. You took half my word. So I'm gonna say I'm out. That was the view review on the Squadron 4.8 center console. Keep an eye out for our YouTube because we've got plenty more boats to come and we look forward to seeing you on the water soon. We're on! We're on!